morning everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be another what are you in a day video and vlog. Um, so I've got my breakfast this morning, um, which I have dipped quite a bit into already. I have got a strawberry and banana smoothie. Um, now I've been having this for breakfast the last few days now and I've been really, really enjoying it. How I'm still a little bit bunged up as well. Um, I'm not really too sure what's going on there. Um, it's not COVID or anything. I think it's just like a coldy flu thing going around i had a break from the gym yesterday because first off i worked yesterday um at my job i didn't start working until 12 but i wasn't sure whether or not i could face the gym early in the morning when i was feeling a bit rubbish and then afterwards i was so tired that i just kind of had a day off the gym yesterday today i am going back though um i'm gonna go for my fifth day this week which is you know go me i'm really happy with that these are actually really filling um and sometimes I don't know if anyone else is like this, as much as I love food, as you guys know, I can't always stomach breakfast, like eating really early in the morning. In any of my videos where I have breakfast that's like an actual like physical food breakfast, it does tend to be sort of at like 10, 11 o'clock because I just can't stomach breakfast really, really early in the morning. However, these have been really, really helping. I'm gonna put the calories on screen like I always do. Calorie wise, these are between 176 and 195 calories. You know what, fun fact, I actually don't really like banana, but I can really stomach banana in a smoothie. Like I really enjoy it in a smoothie with strawberries really really weird like I can't sit and munch on a banana but I can have this. I've also got my Fitbit back on and um, I charged it when I was at work yesterday ready for my first day of wearing a Fitbit again just because I'm really interested to see how many steps I do daily. Today I'm obviously going to have this. I am going to have quite a chill morning actually. It is currently quarter past nine. Around 10-ish I'm going to go to the gym. Um, I think today I'm going to do like a leg and glute workout because I haven't done legs and glutes since Sunday and it's obviously Friday. I've also got some new gym pieces I'm gonna show you in a minute that I ordered from Gymshark and I'm really, really excited to wear them. I think later on, um, I'm gonna go for a walk of some kind, a dog walk. Um, I'm gonna go somewhere with my sister to get some more steps in um, and obviously making some really, really good food in between. Let's grab that gym stuff because I really wanna show you what it looks like. Okay, so this is what I got. Um, and like I said, I am going to be wearing it to the gym today because there is nothing better than wearing new gym stuff. So first off, I got some new leggings. Now, obviously, I think by the time I upload this video, I would have already done my previous What I Eat In A Day video. So if you want to watch that, I'll link it down below. Basically what happened, I did a run um, and I chafed my legs so badly, like scabbed them. But like I do, even though it's hot, I need to wear leggings, like just for my thighs, it's just safer. I decided to get these Gymshark ones. They are plain black. They look like this. Um, so you've got Gymshark just down the side here and then at the back it says Gymshark as well. They're just the long um, high-waisted ones. Let's get those and I think these were like £45. So quite expensive but I did get some student discount on them. And then I also decided to get a t-shirt because again t-shirts are something I don't really have and I really don't have anything baggy um, and I noticed this at the gym the other day when I wanted to wear something a bit more oversized. This costs £18 um, which is a little bit pricey but it is a gym top. It's just like a cotton top with the Gymshark logo here. It's in a medium, so it's really nice and oversized. I think that's gonna be my little gym outfit for today. I feel like I quite like this little spot. Um, very nice and glowy with the window. I'm now ready for the gym. Um, I've got my Gymshark top on. It is actually quite oversized, a lot more oversized than I expected it to be. It definitely is quite oversized, but I do really like it. I love that. I think when I do sort of like my Peloton and stuff, I always want really oversized stuff because I'm sort of leaning over like this. So that's always really good. So it's actually, let's have a look. It's currently almost quarter to 10, so I'm gonna head to the gym in a minute. I'm just gonna go downstairs, get a bottle of water to take with me, because I literally can't work out without water. Get my AirPods, get my bag, drive to the gym. Um, it's literally like a two minute drive, so it's not very far at all. But I'm feeling good, I'm feeling confident today, feeling very happy and very motivated. So let's head to the gym. <laughs> done in the gym um my throat is literally in bits guys um it's got a lot worse since working out i don't know if it was kind of getting out of breath and stuff that has 
kind of made it go a little bit but i'm really glad that i did the workout because i feel like if i'd have left it to this evening or this afternoon i probably wouldn't have gone so really really glad that i've got up early this morning got it done i tried to film as much as my workout as possible um i basically did legs and glute workouts so i did the leg press i did rdls i did sumo squats i did bulgarian split squats and then i did a warm-up on the treadmill which i didn't actually film i was then planning to go and do a like spin peloton class but um they are doing some like renovating work in my gym at the moment um, and the room that i wanted to go in wasn't available so i've called it short but it doesn't really matter because like i said i'm gonna go on a walk in a little bit and get more steps in current steps are 2887 um i definitely think my warm-up on the treadmill is like the majority of that i'm gonna go home get myself sorted i'm ready for the day and make some lunch <laughs> I haven't actually updated you guys since I've been at the gym. So it's currently about 20 to 2 now. Um, I'm obviously freshened up. I have had a shower. I've got changed into some clothes. It's quite warm outside. So I've put on this little pink Primark overshirt with a Zara bodysuit and some ASOS denim shorts. Just really, really comfy. I'm going to go on a dog walk in a little bit. Um, we're going to go to quite a shaded area and we're going to wait for the weather to cool down a little bit because obviously we don't want him getting too hot. I think we're going to go to like a little country park or something, somewhere that like has a little cafe so we can stop um, and get him some water and have a drink ourselves get some water or something so I think that's what we're going to do obviously I've just had my lunch which you would have just seen the montage and I can safely say guys that's probably one of the best things I've ever made whilst doing my calorie deficit meals really really good 10 out of 10 if you like anything like cheesy mozzarella um, kind of like pesto mayonnaise anything like that you will absolutely love it I will of course put the calories on screen um, as I would have in the montage as well but for lunch it was 400 and 84 calories which I think for two wraps filled with chicken and cheese and pesto and stuff that's really really good and it was really filling I have a big appetite and I would be real with you guys if I'm like yeah I'm still hungry or I could still eat and I feel like I've always got my little sweet tummy telling me like yeah I could eat a chocolate bar but in terms of actual more meal that was so filling and I'm really 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 glad I made that and I feel like that's going to be like a staple of mine now so it was really good to try out like I said I think the plan now is just to wait for my lunch to go down a little bit and then go for a walk um and then I think I'm literally just going to come back and chill I've got some videos to edit um and I think I'm also going to read a little bit more of my book I have been reading this book at the minute it is Celia Imri Orphans of the Storm now this is actually quite a recent book I think it literally only came out in July or that's what it said on the Waterstones website um but I picked this up because it's obviously about Titanic it's got the Titanic on the front and I won't lie guys I'm a little bit disappointed with this book I thought it was going to be entirely about the Titanic and we've only pretty much just had the Titanic happen and as you can see like I don't have a lot left at all like this is what I've already read and this is what's left so um yeah it does take a little while to get into it is very different from anything I've read I really love like really modern um like romance fiction or um anything with Colleen Hoover like she is literally queen of books in my opinion I love all of that sort of stuff so this was definitely a bit of a different book for me um but I have enjoyed it I haven't got a huge amount to go I think I've got less than 100 pages to go so I really want to try and finish this today so I can move on to my other books because I've got so many books I need to read like I've said in other videos if you guys are really into me talking about books and stuff do please let me know in the comments because this summer especially I've really got into my reading I set myself a new year's resolution this year to read a book every month and this is my fifth book of the year so it's not a book every month but I'm definitely definitely improving it just really chills me out and when I'm going through kind of anxious stages um or you know I just feel a little bit stressed it really sort of just brings me back down grounds me makes me feel just a little bit more relaxed um and at ease and I just love it but like I said I'm just going to chill out for a little bit probably read a bit of my book and then we're going to head for a dog walk
little bit later in the evening now. Now you guys should have just seen my montage of my pasta. So I actually made that earlier this afternoon, um, which is why I was still in my gym stuff. But um, basically it's like a tuna um, tomato bee, like creamy pasta. I got a recipe from a girl on TikTok. Um, so I will leave um, her details down below if you guys wanna watch it. Original recipe is actually vegetarian. So if you are someone that is vegetarian or you just want to eat it with veg, um, you can just follow the recipe just without adding the tuna. Obviously you can add chicken, you can add literally whatever you want. It was so, so yummy. I made two portions. Obviously, I've just had some for my dinner and then I'm going to have some for my lunch tomorrow morning. Um, but it's just really, really good for if you're someone that wants to kind of make something a bit in bulk and it's not too bad. Obviously, the calories were brilliant. See you a bit later now and I'm going to finish off the day with a pudding. So, my pudding today is none other than the protein pudding from Lidl, but with a bit of a twist. So as you can see here, I've got my little protein pudding, um, which is the chocolate flavor. You guys know I love these. I tried them in my recent What I Eat In A Day video and I'm literally obsessed. Um, but I also grabbed some of this in Asda the other day. So this is a 30% less fat squirty cream. Because squirty cream is so light anyway, I don't really notice a taste difference when I have this. So um, I'm gonna have some of this on top. This is literally gonna make it into like a creamy chocolate desserty pudding, like something that feels super, super, super nice. Um, but obviously the calories are really good as well. So for 12.5 grams, it's only 27 calories. Um, and you actually do get quite a lot for that. So we're gonna measure that out now. Okay, so I added 18 grams of cream just because I wanted a little bit more, but does this not just look like the Cadbury's like creamy mousse desserts that you can get? A bit like what I referenced in my previous video. This just looks so bloody yummy. So I'm literally gonna devour this. I'm also now just gonna end the video here as well. I know I look really rough by the way. I think it's the heat, um, but I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to give it a big thumbs up and click that subscribe button so I know you enjoy them. There is so many more What I In A Day videos coming soon. Um, I'm currently filming all sorts of different recipes trialing and airing trying to include them i want you guys to know that some of these what in a days will include meals that aren't always calorie counted as well because i think it's so important to share that i don't calorie count every single day i have one evening slash day depending on what i'm feeling where i don't count any of my calories um and i do really want to film one of those videos as well because i feel like it just shows more of the like realistic side of it and you guys can see that actually calorie counting is a lifestyle and it's not a diet and it's not restrictive hope you guys enjoyed this video nonetheless and i'll see you all very very soon for another video. Bye!